Welcome to Politics on the Wheel with Jay. Now, we have a date for the Presidential Petition Tribunal Judgment, which will be on the 6th of September, 2026, which is a day after tomorrow. On this day, history will be made. But one of the things that uh, follows suit with the announcement of the date is that the DSS have announced that there is going to be a violence protest sponsored by some politicians. And as a result of that, they are calling on the public, you know, to be aware and not allow themselves to be used by some certain politicians that want to discredit the federal government and the security agencies. Um, the, this, this drama by the DSS all the time is something that uh, is, is, is uncalled for. Okay, fine. If you know that there are some people plotting for the for a coup, I mean for for a protest that would discredit on the line the federal government and security agency, go ahead and arrest them. Go ahead and pick them. Why are you telling us? So what do you expect us to do? You know, to go and arrest them. Okay, we should not you know allow ourselves to be used by them. Right? But you know, the security agency are being allowed. No, they allow themselves to be used by the same politicians to rig election. We saw what happened by ballot box snatching, where police officers are there. Some are even seen carrying the ballot boxes by themselves. You know, so are they not being used by the same politicians? Have there been any arrests? Have anybody been released from his duties? No. Now you're telling the people that they should not be allowed to be used. Now the truth of the matter is this: nobody is even planning any protest, to my best of knowledge. But as a security agency. They may have a first-hand information of which we would not, we don't really, really have. But then people are angry. People are not happy. People are not happy with this with what is happening. People are not happy with the status quo. They want to change. You understand? So now you, the presidential petition tribunal judgment was supposed to be passed over some weeks ago, but up till now no judgment date until they announced judgment date today. And now you are telling us that there is going to be a violence protest. So you are telling people not to allow themselves to be used. And then the president is out of the country, you know, for G G20 summit in somewhere in India. This always happened. If you're right from Buhari's regime, we, every time there is going to be a, a an issue, he always find a way to fly away from the country. And then when everywhere is cool, he returns back, you know. So I know that it is because people are not happy. And we saw what one of the judges, um, uh, Mary or Audley, said, you know, over the weekend concerning the judgment that will be passed, you know, and it was talking about things that uh, 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 we cannot really lay hand upon, uh, you know. He was talking about, you know, that they, they, they believe in the capacity of the person defending Bola Metinibu and also the Attorney General of the Federation who was sworn in. The question now is this, the judgment day is here. Are we going to have uh, a judgment in favor of the status quo or in favor of the people? The election was marred with a lot of violence. It was rigged. In fact, there was no even election, if you ask me. But then, history will be made. If Tinubu is upheld as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria a day after tomorrow, then we all know the political trajectory that Nigeria will be going through within the next uh, years to come. What do you think about this uh, 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 this breaking news this uh, afternoon? Let's have this conversation at the conversation. Do you think that the judgments will go in favor of Labour Party or Atiku of PDP or APC? Drop your opinion at the comment section. And do not forget to share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you.